I'm not going to get into all that. One thing I do, I, mean, I forgot to mention this this morning because it wasn't in my notes, but it was something I intended on bringing up. Um, I view the internet and I view these social media sites. I mean, it, it, it's fake. It's not real. So like on Facebook, for example, you can have, you have friends, right? Well, I don't know how many friends I have on Facebook. It's a lot. Just being a pastor, you know, people request friends and, and many times I'll go through and I'll just add, 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 because I don't really care. Because I don't, you know, whatever happens on Facebook, what people say or whatever, like if people want to follow me, you're not following much. Andy, I'll tell you that much right now because I don't really get on and post a lot and anything anyways. So if you're following me and you're friends with me, great. I don't really care that much about the platform, but no offense to anyone in here if you're my Facebook friend. It doesn't mean that much if you're my Facebook friend. I'll tell you that right now. It's not some great status that you could have. I don't view it as anything. And the reason why I'm even bringing this up is because some people look to these places with so much, like, like they care about it so much. I mean, people have these groups and there's all these rules and everything else to follow. And it's just kind of like, this, this isn't a fellowship. This is internet. This is like, a chat room like you, just, you you type things or whatever but I'm worried that I think some people start substituting these groups and all these online you know it's this online fellowship it's like no we need to have real fellowship right. you really do need you know if you're spending all this time and this is where you get all of your interaction with people and, and, and everything else and it's all online you're missing a lot you are really missing a lot I mean, real contact and real interaction with people is way more edifying and do a lot more for you than spending hours typing back and forth to people on the internet, even if you know them personally. Use that time to just have real interactions with people. You know, people get all bent out of I've been made admin of all these groups and stuff, and you know what I do? Nothing. Because I don't really care. If someone posts something stupid, I'm not kicking them out of play. You know, I don't care. It, to me, I just look at it it's like it's the internet. Of course, people are going to be saying stupid things. Of course, there's going to be a lot of nonsense up there. Whatever. Now, if someone's posting disgusting things that I don't want to ever have to see, yeah, I'm going to block them or in front of them or whatever because I don't want that being shown in front of my eyes. But like, if I don't, you know, if someone's a heretic and then you find them in my friends list, like that doesn't mean anything. I'm just telling you that right now. Cause I'm not like keeping up to date on all the, well, this person does you know, it doesn't mean that much. So I'll make sure everyone understands, at least when it comes to me, I don't really care. And I don't view it as something that matters much at all. I like the platform to be able to use it to get a message out. That's what I like about it. And I like for people to be able to keep up with our church. You know, we could post church events and kind of get information to people. That's great. And you know what? Use these methods however, you know, use these platforms however you want to. Well, I'm just telling you, you know, don't get too wrapped up in them either. Don't let this become like your life or, or get so wrapped up into these social media things. Spend your time wisely.